Hi, everyone. It's good to see everyone. Glad to see everyone here. We're really excited. And for our phone banking and text banking today, we'll have both options. And our amazing guest that I will introduce shortly, Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And so my name's Hope. I'm one of the co-leads here with Brian Klein for the Florida chapter of the Jewish Democratic Council of America. And once again, we're really glad to have y'all here. Like I said, we have Representative Wasserman Schultz kicking off our amazing phone bank and text bank today. And as mo all of you know already, the amazing things that she's been able to accomplish here in the Congress. She was the first Jewish Congresswoman in the state of Florida, which obviously is a big champion of JDCA here with all of our Jewish values. And being sworn in in 2005 and a strong, a strong supporter of our democratic Jewish values, we are so proud of her sponsoring the Protect Our Children Act, an early act to help support breast cancer awareness and education. Also, most importantly, she is a Florida Gator alum, the University of Florida. I conned Shelby into coming to this, so oh. she is here. <laughs> Thanks, Shelby, for coming. Um, so yeah, thank you, Representative Washington Schultz, for coming to our phone bank and text bank session. And just we're excited to hear a few words from you to inspire us as we make all these calls to all of our amazing constituents. Wow. Well, thank you so much. You, uh, I'm, I'm a little challenging to surprise, but, but congratulations. When I saw at the top of the screen, Shelby Schultz waiting <laughs> to be admitted, there's not that many Shelby Schultzes. So uh, nope. I, I just texted and said, is that my Shelby Schultz? <laughs> so, so hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm really thrilled to be able to be with everyone tonight, um, especially because we are literally two weeks out. It is game time and, and crunch time. And so whether you're joining us on behalf of JDCA or JDWA or the Florida Democratic Jewish Caucus, truly the role that you play in supporting the Biden-Harris administration, as well as Democrats throughout Florida and our nation, is more important than ever. Uh, and, and recruiting is uh, is more important than ever because we have to make sure that this is an all hands on deck moment. There is so much at stake that so many of us care about. Um, Jewish voters are really some of our best advocates under the big democratic tent and Jewish voters like those here tonight have become some of the most committed volunteers calling thousands of voters to help sway their decision and getting every last person to the polls just like you'll be doing this evening. And I'll tell you, that these organizations right here are, are pivotal in, in districts across America where the Jewish vote can make the difference, particularly when we have very close races like we do in so many of these congressional elections across the country. It is Jewish voters, even if we're a relatively small part of the electorate, we are of the population, we are always because of the high percentages that, Jew, that, that Jewish people vote, we are able to make an outsized difference in the outcome of elections. So turning out our people is really, really important. And with our votes and our voice, the Jewish community has the power to influence the rest of the electorate by ensuring a large voter turnout and helping to elect Democrats up and down the ballot. And Democrats are delivering for America. And that's the message that we need to get out. We've done so much work to get America back on its feet. But look, we still have a ton of work to do. And everyone here knows that. Despite razor thin margins, Joe Biden and Democrats put historic wins on the board, all with zero, bupkis, zero support from the not very grand old party. Now we need to let voters know that Democrats deliver and make their lives better. And I'm proud to say that there is a lot for us to share with the folks you're gonna call tonight. For example, we just passed the Inflation Reduction Act. That is a real game changer for our seniors, for families, for the deficit and climate. It lifts big, phar big pharma's chokehold on prescriptions. It allows the government to finally negotiate <laughs> Medicare prescription drug prices. It caps annual Medicare drug costs at $2,000 annually and an insulin at $35 a month. This insulin cap, by the way, would have applied to anyone with diabetes rather than only Medicare beneficiaries. But of course, Re Republicans forced us to change it, tucking their tails behind their legs and bowing down to the altar of big pharma. So for now, it only affects Medicare beneficiaries, but it is historic change. Fewer seniors will, will face the cruel choice of insulin or food, and will finally allow Medicare to negotiate prescription prices, which is a generational victory. Now I've been 
at many local Democratic club meetings, and I'm about to head out the door to one next. And I've heard so many of those club members talk about having to split their pills in half to make their prescriptions last longer. The Inflation Reduction Act is a life-saving and money-saving change. We also extended the Affordable Care Act savings and the American Rescue Plan. So 13 million families can save an average of $800 a year on their premiums. That is critical in Florida. And now we extended those benefits to 2025. The Inflation Reduction Act also marks our most significant strike against climate change in history, where we cut pollution, boost energy security, and create good paying jobs in our US solar, wind, and electric vehicle sectors. And we do all that by making corporations pay their fair share, cutting the deficit, ensuring no one makes, making less than $400,000 a year pays one penny more in taxes. Again, all of that we did with zero Republican support. We cannot talk about this historic, game-changing legislation enough with voters, but there's so much more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> President Biden signed the Chips and Science Act into law. That ensures that America wins the 21st century by manufacturing computer chips right here at home. It's hard to believe that we let that go for so long, but we're bringing that manufacturing home, we're creating jobs and protecting our economy. The PACT Act is now law. I'm very proud of that because I chair an appropriations subcommittee that funds the whole VA. Our brave veterans who've been exposed to burn pits 